Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier with part 8 of Ship Fight. Ship Fight is a series aimed to identify the pros and cons between two ships in a seemingly similar role and price range. I feel confident today that we have enough information to discuss these two ships, so let's begin. The Anvil Hawk or the Aegis Stalker. The Hawk is a small ship with a small footprint, purpose built for bounty hunting. The Aegis Avenger Stalker is a variant of a security patrol ship that has eight cells as a module in the rear. And I quote, this is the standard Avenger chassis with the Stalker Prisoner Transport module pre-installed. That means you can take it out and return this back to an Avenger Titan. Seems pretty appealing. Since the rework, the Avenger series has become a better value for your pledge dollar, and the Stalker is still $40 below the new pledge price of the Hawk. The Hawk was released last year on concept. In the q and it was said to be above average in speed, not very stealthy, and average agility. I believe that was done on purpose to put it in line with the Stalker, which is slightly slower and more agile. The true deciding factor here is going to be how these ships behave after the new flight model, and even more important, how the fuel depletes once the fuel mechanics are implemented. The Hawk seems to be meant for pure solo man hunting. Both ships have base weapons to distort and disable a target, however the Hawk has one massive advantage over the Stalker, which is the EMP. The EMP is a skill hit that will reward a skillful player and give him the ability to bag and tag without a mess. I'd like to remind people that the Banu Defender concept was to release EMP missiles, so if they make it into game, the Stalker could technically exploit EMP gameplay as well. The Avenger as a platform seems to have better power reserves and capability, which in the future could provide better quantum performance, better protection from a less starved shield grid, and run weapons longer. Both have the ability to log out, the Stalker has a dedicated bed directly behind the pilot, and the Hawk requires you to leave the ship and lock yourself in the little cell. It's a little bit awkward, but it's still effective. The final point I'd like to bring up can be seen as irrelevant without further information from Tony Z. The Stalker has eight cells, but if you're operating solo, it's unlikely you'll need more than one cell at a time. If the Hawk pilot's saucy and tries to do a 1v2, I'm sure the pilot will suffer. The same is true for the Avenger, but because it has more cells, that may open up to a situation where two or more players can use a mixture of ships and still have enough room to bag an entire Connie's worth of bounty. Again, all of this is quite speculative, and in closing, if you're looking to do bounty hunting, to me, the Hawk never made a compelling argument when compared to what we had. The Stalker seems to do more with less, and because the Hawk's at $100, you also have to consider the Cuddy Blue, which elevates the gameplay to an all-new level. Please let me know in the comments what you think and why. Thank you very much for your support. Fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.